you know, that's not exactly easy. That that is a very tight window to to throw. Holmes, you Whoops. should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. I'm trying. It's not easy, which is why I still don't think the kid did it. Well, you hit it though. Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishment, or Crimes and Punishments. And we are now gonna lay a little ambush for our so-called, um, uh, crime person. So, organize an ambush with Lestrade, the mysterious intruder might return tonight. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and talk to Lestrade down here. The nice inspector and see if uh, if that indeed is a wait what's with the card hmm that is also very suspicious isn't it mr. Lestrade okay I would like to organize an ambush well mr. Holmes what do you think now I think that we are lucky and why is that because of last night's attempted break-in oh You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Yeah, it's a very long night ahead of us. It's going to be fun. So, what do I do? We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin, near the window. Oh, I can see the this window, window now. window is locked from the inside. I do not see any attempt at a break-in. Aha, uh -huh, okay. What about this place here? Is this suspicious? No? Completely normal, of course. I knew that. What about a right back here? This looks like the perfect hiding place. Yeah, let's find them. It appears each time I find a new clue. That's good to know. Shh. Did you hear that? You're the one who need to be quiet, dude. There's no way a sporty guy like him would do that, right? I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! Alright, good sir. Why are you breaking in now, huh? I see you have a gun. Mr. Holmes? Yes, yes. Alright, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? Exactly. You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you, I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... It's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. But he's Holmes. clearly not the culprit. He's you not strong enough. Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Again, I'm pretty sure he's not the the one doing all of this. I would, I would like to take. I would like to take a look at my notes, if you don't mind. No, continue. Fine. D -d then don't let me take a look at my notes. Interrogate the suspect. Examine his belongings. Okay. Sure. Sure. 
Hello there. Holmes. Good policeman, Good morning, sir. Mr. Holmes, can I help you? Good morning, constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. Can I take out his boots? Because that's kind of all I want to do right now. He got very nice boots. What can I say? Mr. Holmes? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Is this where... The, is this is the evidence room, correct? All right, I'm looking for evidence. And evidence I shall find. Belongings. Hmm. These are the suspect's belongings. Yes, the open. Book that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. Uh-huh, and the knife, of course. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Handkerchief. A handkerchief with the initials J-H-N. And a ring. Um, from R. Dawson to my friend and partner. 1884-83, whoops. 1883. Wasn't that someone who was sailing with the guy? Because that was from 18-something to something else. Evidence required, it says. Can't connect anything right now. Alright then, I will continue onwards. This is very interesting. I like time period games, so that like try to explore a specific time period. Because there's no real electricity here. Like, they have electricity, but like it's very, very, like, Locked. old school. Slash new, you know? This is the morgue. Sure. <laughs> Let's go to the morgue. I didn't exclamation or anything. But I'm going down here anyway. Can I please take a look at stuff down here, maybe? This must be the body, by the way. Okay. I'm going back up again. Hello there, policeman. Uh, that's another person who's probably a suspect for something. Hello there, John Nilligan. I know you're the culprit. I'm just kidding. What about the sea knife, huh? The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nilligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. I believe you. You seem like a weakling. <laughs> oh, you have a lot of stuff I can find. Look at the hat. Shabby cap. I mean, you look poor. Uh, in a non-offensive way. Yeah, patch. Uh, expensive fabric. Wait, what? So he's, he steals stuff, probably. Elaborate buttons. Oh. Callous, I see. And scars. So you stole your jacket from someone who had money and, um... And then you, uh, did some other stuff. Anything I'm missing here? Short sleeves. Yeah, okay. Uh, anything else I can take a look at here? Elaborate buttons? No? What about your your pants? No, your boots. Do I have do I have your boots? How come I don't see no boots, huh? I need some boots. I'm going back here. Is there really nothing else I can see immediately? Uh, I don't see anything. What what am I what am I missing? <laughs> That's expensive fabric, sleeves, colors, and then of course over here. There must be something down here, right? Like his pants. This is what I would assume. Elaborate buttons. Nothing here. No, nope, nope. Nothing that I can see. I mean, maybe his face? Does, does he look suspicious in the face anywhere? Okay, I, would, I wouldn't think so. Um, I, I don't know about anything else here. I don't, um, hmm. I think I'm going to skip it because I, I, oh, never mind. Here we go. The throat. 
thin neck. All right, let me talk about the notebook does then. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes, does yes. it? Hmm? But where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. That's a lie. Otherwise, you wouldn't break in. What does mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please, let me go. I'm innocent. Then prove it instead of acting very, very suspicious right now. To that carry, uh, Nelligan, 19 years old, he was raised in wealth, but after the desertion, he is in family went to poverty. And then he started working with fish. Okay. And he remains physically weak, which is why I don't think he did it. Okay, and then we have investigate the murder, interrogate suspect, and examine belongings, which I think I already did, no? What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Okay, let's take a look. So, um, the break-in attempts, missing tin box. Um, Peter Carey was armed with his knife. Missing tin box, no gardener, he was a non-smoker, and Nelligan's notebook is connected to the break-in attempts. At least I think they are. The break-in whoops, sorry. The break-in attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in the pool of the victim's blood. This proves that the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Sort of. I disagree with that part. Oh, there's more evidence I can use? Uh, swift actions and Pragan attempts and swift... No? Okay, pin to the wall. Swift actions. Okay, there we go. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use his harpoon well enough to kill by a fully pierce... I be, I, that's, yeah, that's, there's no way that's the case. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. Prepare the harpoon throwing experiment. All right, Watson, I'm sorry about what I'm going to do to you, but you know, part of you really enjoys it, I'm sure. <laughs> Goodbye, good people. Uh, we're going to Baker Street, no? I think we are. Oh, okay. I guess I can't connect any more stuff, can I? I don't think so. Okay. Hey, uh, Watson, you in your room? Nope. Wait, then. Oh, there he is. All right, watch. Oh, wait, before before I talk to you, I wanna I wanna talk to Dog. Brave Who's a good Toby. dog? The best nose in the British Empire. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Oh. Um. Sherlock? <laughs> you rascal. Anyway, hello there. A spot of wailing, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No, but we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible, but if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Poor pigs. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. How nice. That seems... Nice. Okay. 
Let's do the harpoon throwing experiment at the butcher. I take a harpoon with me. Fine, fine. Th then before we go to the butcher, we go to the cabin. Okie dokie, here we are again. Excuse me, ma'am. I have found new stuff that might be able to explain some stuff. I, I know you're the murderer. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. You, you picked up the harpoon and then you uh, you threw it at him with your womanly strength. Yeah. That should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Just a nice day for a joke. Then we go to the butcher. The butcher did it. Um, hello, Watson. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment. Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Yet? That means you're going to do it multiple times? Holmes, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Uh, okay. And, and then I hold breath. And then I need to press A to throw. You know, that's not exactly easy. That That is a very tight window to, to throw. Holmes, you Whoops. should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. I'm trying. It's not easy, which is why I still don't think the kid did it. But you hit it, though. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily made. It's only been two, okay? Very well, but please hurry. Of course. Can I bring it back? It's not really our property, you see. <laughs> we probably shouldn't be just using it. No? Alright, it's fine. Uh, wait, now that I have tested out the experiment, uh, strength requirement and pinning to the wall. It requires... Okay, wait. Some facts can be interpreted differently. You can always so, choose two different ones. Uh, it requires much greater strength than that of an average man to be able to pierce a man's chest with a harpoon. A degree of skill would most likely be necessary. Two men in cooperation might achieve the same result. There is a remote possibility that an unskilled and untrained man could manage to pin him to the wall with a harpoon. I think it's a feat of strength. Oh. The game crashed? Oh no, the game crashed. Oh no, okay, I'll be right back. Alright, I have returned once more. So I decided it was a feat of strength. Uh, which leads to this way. Okay, so so it seems like they can do different nodes. That could be very interesting to see how it turns out at the end, if I picked wrong. Okay, for now I'll assume it's strength. Okay, because uh, it sort of makes sense. So that's what I'm going to go for. Oh, what, what did I pick? I did, I did not mean to. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know. It seems like I liked frames at some point. We'll see about that later on. Okay, so I'm gonna do what exactly? What what, what was it gonna do according to my deduction? I wanted to confront the kid, I think. Uh, but how? Wait, oh, I can go into first person. I did not know that. He's first person apparently. How nice. And that's not what I want to see. I want to go to the... There we go. The book. Uh, 
the book, I want to investigate the murder, interrogate the suspect, and examine belongings. So I can go back again and double check, right? Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Whoops, wrong button. So we're gonna go ahead and check out... Can I sprint while doing this? I can. Anyway, we're gonna go check out uh, the yard. Also known as the prison. Or at least the holding cells or whatever you want to call it. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. It's about an innocent that might be jailed. Locked. Oh yeah, that, that place is locked. Sorry, my bad. Oh, actually, before I do that, I would like to uh, check out the evidence again. These are the suspect's belongings. Okay, so... These abbreviations mean something. But what? I need to talk to the kid. Maybe he knows. Kiddo, I'm going to talk to you again. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Never mind. Wait, maybe I can see. See something that no one else can see. I still don't really get how this works. No, that's what am I not. Doing here? Hmm. Okay, so more Sounds. evidence. I need more evidence. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so there must be some kind of connection to that, right? Uh, two men in cooperation might achieve the same result, but there were two cups, so I don't know if it was just lucky or not. But it could be just luck. I mean, I could go back to Baker Street and talk to, um... Let's go talk to, uh, Watson. Yeah. Sherlock is like, I'm perplexed. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's okay, Sherlock. Good gracious, you caught someone. At least now you have a suspect. I did. It's a suspect, but it's not the definition of, like, someone winning. Maybe I can go back to the place and I can somehow... I can... Hmm. hmm. This requires extensive thinking, Watson. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, a heavy and sharp hub wailing. It seems the same harpoon as the one used to murder the... Okay. Is there no way for me to check out the kid's place? Like his boots? That's the first thing I would do, was check out his boots. I guess I'm gonna go back to the place again. Did I miss something? I mean, I might have, considering that I haven't really been using this a whole lot. I need more evidence. I need, I need shoes. I need boots. The sea unicorn. She was the. Sh hmm. The ship's logs of the sea unicorn for the years eighteen seventy. Yeah, it seems like that's connected to the thing I have. But how do I? Hmm. How do I check that out and, and show it? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Of course. Of course. Hey, miss, can you open up this door, please? It, it seems very important. There must be something I missed. Maybe I need to go check out the body again. I'm not a great investigator. I know. Bear with me, okay? Bear with me. It, I must be do, need to do something at the police station, right? It's the only thing I can think of. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Thank you. Thank you. Of course you are. Mr. Holmes. I'm here to take out the so-called buddy. Thank you very much. I There's something I'm missing These here, apparently. Suspect's belongings. Evidence required. Yeah, but I take. Oh, did I? I didn't finish this one, did I? Uh, apparently I didn't. It says I didn't. Wait, I, I saw something. Inscript. My friend. Oh, oh, so I need to actually... I thought it, he already saw the whole ring. R. Dawson. Dawson. I've seen this name before. 
Perhaps my archive holds the answer. You go back to my archive again? But I just came from there. Oh well. Back to my archive. I went to the wrong place. <laughs> everyone was. This is why everyone thought he was crazy, right? <laughs> because I was controlling him. Like, oh, you keep going back and forth. Does it have anything to do with anything? Okay, let's go ahead and search out up our Dawson. That is not the one I need. Oh, you want me to actually figure out uh, textiles? That is no? not the one I need. Liberation, is... toxic metal in hair. That is not the one I need. Chlorine. That is not the one I need. Oh, I need to go to the actual. No, I don't. You know, bankruptcy. That is no? not the one I need. Oh, Dawson. There we go. Dawson and Nelligan Investment Fund bankrupt. Nelligan missing. The Dawson and Nelligan Investment Fund, a regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain, and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. Uh, the liquidation of company is a pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelligan, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht, preparing for departure to Norway. Here it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story. But I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. I think I understand what's going on now. So it seems like he is the son of the guy who was murdered by the dude here. And the little kid... I say, say little, he's 19. But the kid, he essentially decided to kill... I mean, not kill, but I think... Investigate the guy. And he happened to do it the day when he was murdered, right? Maybe he asked for help and someone else killed him? Maybe he was sent here by someone. Listen here, you talk or you die. Bad cop, good cop. Dawson and Nelligan, come on. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. Knew it. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Okay, and what about the gold ring? The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Well, uh, rings engraving profile, the victim, tobacco, it's always belonged to me. Well, you have your father's jacket now. What? But, but, but he's wearing his father's the jacket. Police. I didn't steal it from anyone. It, it has always belonged to me. What else could it be? A sharp knife, rings engraving. I mean, the rings engraving is the only tip I think that would work I guess the rings date of engraving is many years ago you would have been a child then hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner and who is the rings owner come on so Mr. Nelligan who is the true owner of the ring the ring is mine uh Think, no? Now is the father's jacket? Is that what we're going to go with? I'm assuming that's what we're going to go with. So, the ring is mine. I, it just feels weird because this is not how I would do it. I would do it the opposite way. Anyway, I'm, I'm guessing it is the father's jacket. 
Yeah. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Yep, Peter Carey killed Joshua Nelligan, and that's what's what going on. What are you on. doing here? I've done nothing. And examine the what? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Can I can I please see the objective? Oh, I need to go over here. Uh, so, uh, my ship's log for the year might put some light on a connection between Peter Carey and Nilligan's father. Maybe that means that the actual Locked. evidence is not for him, but the journey itself, right? So the evidence could be connected to taking a look at the, the belongings. At this. These abbreviate. Uh, I can't connect anything. Oh well. Okay then. Hmm. So maybe need to go back to Woodman's Lee now. Unless I'm misinterpreting something. Now there was a book. Oh, there was a shelf showing something over there, correct? So if I take a look at the shelf now, that actually 18, talks about the 83. journey. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. We enjoy James, uh, bit bit Hapuna. And Hapuna. Okay, so all of these are Hapunas. These these Hapunas are probably the the reason why. Henry Shepard, Lawrence Roger, Seth Redolf, Matthew, Benjamin, Will, Isaac. Okay, so nothing here. Log notes for June. Nothing June unusual. light breeze. Okay. Moderate Monday, Saturday. Log notes for July. Nothing special. Uh, okay, joy, moderate. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Interesting. Log notes for August. Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Okay. So gotta speak to the sailors, eh? Find the crew of the sea unicorn. Find the crew. Oh yeah, that's a book, right? That's the notebook. That's what the notebook is for. Okay, let's go back to the yard and then we're going to examine the notebook and then we're going to have the identification of the people there. Because I think if we if we try to match them up with the ship logs, we can definitely These find the them. Suspect's belongings. Compare with certificate. Um, CPR, right? It's this one. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, missing papers and break-in attempts. Okay. 
So the break-in attempts were made in order to recover notebooks that had been lying in a pool of the victims. This proves that the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Uh, Nilligan was looking for his father's papers inside Black Peter's cabin. It explains his presence at the scene of the murder. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, all right, let me speak with you. What about the break-in? Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I... I was trying to find some information about my father. I think you were trying to find... the bond certificate. I assume you had another purpose. To retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. Well, okay. I will see you soon, young man. All right, wait, can I just, can I drop this on him? <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a good detective. I'm very nice to, to everyone, of course. So, hmm, maybe need to research the actual location in, in, uh, the, the Baker Street place in, in my home, of course. I am Sherlock Holmes, after all. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbour. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialists. And who might they be? Yeah, who the might they be? The police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. A, a watch? Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. All right. Well, that is also going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking, subscribing and sharing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.